In this lesson, we'll take a look at using variables, and we're going to do two different data types, both the byte and the integer data type. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and create a new project, and I'm going to go ahead and call this project variables. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure the console application is highlighted and choose OK. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually create the variable, or also called declaring the variable. To do that, I'd go ahead and type in one of my variable types. Now we're going to look at the byte first. The byte can hold a value of anywhere from 0 to 255. So if I'm going to use a number, to, or use a variable to hold a number from 0 to 255, then that's a pretty good choice for you. So I'm going to choose byte. I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, min age, from a minimum age. And then I'm going to go ahead and end it with a semicolon there. And I'm going to create one more. And I'm going to call this one byte. And I'm going to put max age in semicolon. So what I've done now is I've actually created two different variables. My first variable is named min age. My second variable is called max age. And both of these variables can hold a value from 0 to 255 only. So it has to be a number from 0 to 255. If I hover over those, you can see why I've got the green squiggly line underneath it. It's because the variable has been declared, but it's never been used, meaning I've created it, but I have not used it yet. So let's go ahead and assign some values to this. I'm going to go ahead and actually, uh, for my first one, I'm going to go ahead and just put an equal sign after min age. I'm going to say equals. And we can go ahead and say 25. And so now it's holding a value of 25. And so what happens here is the 25 actually gets put into this minimum age variable. So basically what I'm saying is min age is the value of 25. Now max age, I can go ahead and do it the same way I've done this one, but I can also do it a different way. And I want to show you that I can just type in max age, and then I can say equals, and we'll just say 50. And I'll end that with a semicolon. So both, both of these have now been declared in what's called initialized, meaning we've actually taken a value and set a value for each one of our variables. I still haven't used it in any way yet. So let's go ahead and use it. I'm going to write a console here we go console dot write line and we're going to go ahead and just write these values out for us. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say min age for the first one and I'll do another right line. I gotta make sure I have the semicolon there. We'll do another console right line. And for this one we're gonna do max age. And so all I'm telling my application is to just go ahead and create the variable named min age, create another variable called max age. Both of these are bytes, meaning they can only hold a value of 0 to 255. I set both of the values in two different ways. I set it here all in the same line, and here I set it on a separate line to show you that two different ways of actually creating the variable and using them or declaring them and initializing them. And then what I've gone ahead and done was just said, you know what, write min age, or write the value of min age out, and write the value of max age out as well. So now if I were to run this, let's go to debug, and I'll go ahead and start without debugging. It's going to go ahead and run my application, and there it is. You see a 25, and you see a 50. And it says press any key to continue, which will end my program. So I'll go ahead and hit any key to continue. And I've basically declared initialized both of these variables. So that's taking a look at the byte. Let's go ahead and take a look at another variable, and this is going to be the integer. Or also, we're going to go ahead and type in just int space. And then we're going to create an int or integer variable. Now one thing to remember with the integer data type is that can actually hold very large numbers uh, over 2 billion and I can actually use negative numbers here but what the one thing that I cannot use is fractions or decimals so they have to be a number that is not a fraction or a decimal so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and make the first one we'll just say min population and we're gonna say that's gonna be equal to 100,000 I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. And we're going to go ahead and create one more integer, int max population. We're going to set that equal to, let's make that 2 million. End that with a semicolon. 
So now I've gone ahead and I've actually used two different integers, a minimum population and maximum population variable that hold both hold a value. First one holding a value of 100,000 and the second one holding a value of 2 million. So now let's go ahead and take a look at using some of these in actual sentence or an actual string as well. So I'm going to do another console write line. And this time around I'm going to actually put the double quotes here and this is going to be our string here. I'm going to put the minimum population is. And now what we're going to use is a placeholder here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the curly brace and put that into zero. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in the word and the max among population is. I'm going to use another curly brace and this time along I'm going to put one. And I'm going to end that curly brace. And I'm going to end the quote as well. Now this is going to basically be used as my string. What I've done is I've actually used a placeholder this time around. The zero is going to represent the first variable I'm going to add in here at the end of my statement. And the one is going to hold the next variable that I'm going to hold into my statement. And so I've closed it here with the double quotes. And this is the string that is actually going to be displayed. Now what I want to do is use a comma. And if you look here, it's going to be my first object that I'm going to use here, which is going to be my min population and then I'm going to use another comma and this is going to be my max population and I'll end that with the parenthesis to close the last parenthesis and end up with a semicolon and so what I've got here now in my statement is I've actually got a full statement here that's going to say write this line it's going to put it in double quotes here write the minimum population is now this is going to be a placeholder and basically what it's going to allow me to do is I'm going to pass this variable that I've put, my first variable that I have listed here, it's going to pass that value into this placeholder. So it's going to read the minimum population is 100,000 and the maximum population is, and now it's going to be this variable here which is called max population, so that's going to say 2 million. So let's go ahead and run our code so we can view this. And you'll see now here, the minimum population is 100,000 and the maximum population is 200,000. And now since bytes and integers are both numbers, we can actually do math calculations with these. So I'm going to go ahead and put one other line here. And we're going to do another console.write line. And I'm going to go ahead and actually do another string here. And I'm going to put the difference between my maximum age and minimum age. So let's go ahead and say maximum age and minimum age is. We'll go ahead and put a placeholder here. And we'll use a zero. And now after this statement, I can actually put my variable here. Now what I'm looking for is, I want the, actually the difference between my maximum age and my minimum age. And if you take a look here, I've got my max age, which is 50, and my min age, which is 25. And so if I want to do the math, I can actually do math with variables here at the end of the statement as well. So let's go ahead and type in max age. And I'm going to go ahead and just say minus min age. And I'll go ahead and end that with a parenthesis and with my semicolon. And so you can see what's going on here is we're going to pass a value and you can see the comma is the separator between my variables and I've only got one variable value that's actually going to be passed into the statement. It's asking for the first one which is zero. It starts counting by zero and it's going to pass in what's after that first comma which is going to be the math calculation that you see here. And now since 25 is a number used, I'm actually going to go ahead and change this 25 to a 20 now. And so we should see a difference of 30. So I'm going to go ahead and run the code. And you'll see now on my output, the difference between my maximum age and minimum age is 30. So they've actually changed. You can see the 20 has been changed up here as well, now that I've re-ran my application. And so this has actually done the math calculation as well and passed this variable's value into the zero, or into my first placeholder. 
that we've got there. And this concludes the video on using both the byte and the integer data types for variables.